case video 7. Um, let's just kind of follow this equation here through because it kind of it gives us some more output from the original input if you will. Scarlet, crimson, virtually the same. Let scar, tear, tears. You know that's a bundle of infected wheat, right? Alright, what infects wheat is a fungus known as ergo with cancer. Ergo is ER, meaning to make a major mistake in your going. And that can be going up or that can be going down. You know what I mean? They got a double up and they got a double down. And so many people are being set up that are being made to believe they're a part of this organization. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm speaking to the ethnicities here. You know, I don't know. I've got some 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 inclination that, and this might sound just totally weird to some of you, but that a, a lot of these celebrities are starting to wake up. I'm noticing some things. When I see things, I don't just. You should be able to tell when I see something that interests me. It it really is what I'm thinking it is. You know what I mean? And I'm seeing a lot of stuff in this entertainment world getting shook up big time you know what I mean well good for you good for anybody that is taking a serious look at this and taking some steps back from it and I have seen a few celebrities do that and I, I have a feeling why and it's awesome to know that uh, so you got tear jack up right right crimson take a bite out of crime is it going to tell it's going to tell us the same equation guys that's what you should be understanding this is no accident it's no way for it to be an accident the only way is is for you to see it in some freaking mirror and twist it up to still make you look like you're not a part of this crap when everything about that fruit is supposedly ye are gods that's the fruit man everything about this apple it ain't our apple it ain't nothing to do with it Every bit of language, every bit of etymology, every bit of definition, every bit of literary word is their crap. You know what I mean? All this stuff as it links in and redefines itself and rearranges itself and these anagrams, all this stuff is a product of their own self-expose that the infinite spirit will always reveal the true frequency of truth continually. And that is mercy, love, forgiveness, caring, compassion loyalty you know on a divine scale that's how you know when something is true when it can admit that there is something way higher than itself and it ain't no man and it ain't no hidden hand it is a real spirit in a real location an actual destination of paradise and all who can hear the call are going that way Jesus' way. He leads, we follow. Not because we're not independent, but because we're independent enough of them to know what the right direction is, regardless of them. I don't need their maps. I don't need their doctrine. I don't need anything to tell me that serpents handing you apples with promises of divinity is BS. You know what I mean? And then I can show you that it is with their own language, with their own symbols, with everything that's theirs. We can see what the input is, same as the output. Gotcha? Got it. Take a bite out of crime. Now, what, what's the crime that's being taken a bit out of? Because a bite out of, and you can think crime, chief crime symbol, America, New York City. You know, in a sense, right? All right. It's, it's a reflection of what? The original sinner. Which we see is what? That apple. There we go. Big apple. Sin, crime, crime against humanity. Bite out of crime. Where's a bite to coming out of crime at? Well, if we're talking about an apple, we're talking about produce. Is he not supposed to be the uh, god of agriculture, the god of time, the god of vegetation and regeneration, Osiris, the green man? Okay, yeah, he is. Okay, so produce. What were the females, the daughters of men that were chosen? They were chosen for what? To produce what? A kingly stock. This kingly stock has done what? Basically created the order. And what have we seen this order evolve itself into? Materialism. The input, output. He's outputting himself into a material body. From the very same input of that bastardized material knowledge 
that was supposedly masquerading itself as spiritual truth. How could it? How could it if he's the original first criminal? You guys think he's given you something and accelerated? No, he has actually slowed you down. And then that's what people like us come into with Jesus Christ. We show you don't need none of that. Ain't no force opens this door of truth. It's all faith. Faith is the key. You know? And they're going to find out with me. Ain't no force they're going to get anything out of me. Nothing. Everything I deliver is through the spirit of truth. You can't torture the spirit of truth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you crazy? It's... <sighs> they have no idea what they're getting into. They don't. The, the, it's like the first and the last thing you want because it depends on which way they're looking at it but the first and the last thing you want is somebody like me close to your highest members that's the first and the last thing you want it's the first and the last thing I want and it's the first and the last thing he wants it's going to happen and a lot's going to take place from there that's the joy. I know the prophecy. So to produce what? The crime son. Okay. When you say produce, what, what do you get here on the end of this daggone thing? You get deuce. What is deuce? Double. What was offered with the apple? Double. Watch this. Produce. Deuce is two. From the apple represents what? Professional deuce. I thought you guys were turning into your own bosses. I thought you were turning into your own guys when nobody gonna tell you what to do no more. The whole time you're creating what? Professional deuce. I thought New York City with the big politicians and the bankers and you know DC, the politicians, New York City bankers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I thought y'all were trying to get away from the big suits, man. Nah, professional deuce right there. Boss man, double. You know what I mean? Only problem is this dude look like a lady. You know what I mean? XX chromosome, double cross, boss man, deuce, professional deuce, to produce what? That apple that became the embryo. Apples are what? Crimson, crime son, to produce what? The option for them to come in and take this bite out of crime and make everybody think they're doing the world a favor when they're the original sinners in the first place. Incredible. So I guess in essence, you know, all that makes a lot of sense, right? Let's take Bugs Bunny for an instance. You know, we talk about rabbits a lot. It's pretty interesting. Bugs Bunny. Bugs, in this instance, we'd have to think beetles, right? Why would we be thinking beetles? Well, because of the Kabbalah. And then you got to think about the, the band, the Beatles. All right. And then what they're all singing about the whole time. And of course, it's all this information right here in through the outdoor there's your outdoor there's where they're looking back into which is up in that womb which i told you is another 4d box you know what i'm saying so as you come through here i want you to look at this is the head of a scarab in other words a beetle symbolically coded as a beetle points of the wings coming down head here all right now at the same time it's a beetle which is another code for their kabbalah you'd have to think about this as a fox head points of the two ears and of course you can see this is the rabbit's two ears coming down here to the little nose now this instance would all be the ethereal dimension if you will this is where we get the physicality begins so that's where we can see the physical ear of a fox or a rabbit just depends on which way you're looking at it in other words i think they're out foxing their own rabbits but i guess they're rabbits if they ain't listen to me they're just going to have to see ain't they they just going to have to see. So there's your rabbit. There's your beetle. There's your fox. There's your rabbit hole. There's your candle. And there's your angel of Orion hung upside down. Now, there's an incredible paradox with this. As I said, this is putting him in the physical womb. And they've been made to believe it's putting them in the divine enlightenment, if you will. But in all reality, it's more like a tomb instead of a womb. You know what I'm saying? the tomb stone man of stone right well anyway angel of orion hung upside down the beetle the fox and the rabbit now watch this you got bugs right and think about disney or 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 this isn't even disney but just think about the nature of the cartoon in relationship to the scripture says it shall be revealed unto the babe and the suckling okay 
the truth, all right? Not Not the code, but the truth of their code. Seeing through it. Not seeing that there's some code there that you keep secret from everybody else and that makes you feel like you're special and everybody else is going to die and you're going to survive and be some god. <laughs> That's devil work. No, do unto others as you would have done unto you. Tell the people the truth. You afraid it ain't going to make you a god no more? Oh, you're wrong. It's the, it's the closest thing that you will ever get to becoming a god in this world is being honest to everybody else. That's what God is. Bugs, beetle, bugs, bunny, beetle, rabbit. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? You sick? You sick? You know what I mean? What's up, Doc? And then it's the question that he's asking, what's up? Well, I know what's up. I know what they think is what's up. This avian place, this high refuge, this high sand, if you will. Come on, man. Come on. Doctors are for sick people. Okay? Doctrine is for sick people. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ didn't write the word. He lived the word. It's called the living word. You know what I mean? The dead letter is called that for a reason because so many people will put their absolute trust in the letter of that word that all else will go out the window and they will kill for it. Just like you see so many like that like that username on that video I posted with the mice and the clock, which they don't even understand that. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Huh. Uh, only the deepest of deepest minds will be able to understand that one. And then they'll probably still fall short because those, there's a port in there that would confuse them with me, but they just don't see. But like the Gematria reveals the truth. BS, man. Gematria reveals you're a kook. Reveals you're a kook. It reveals you can't stand on your own. That you got to look back to the sordid minds of other men to tell you what the truth is by their own letters and numbers they created. Their letters and numbers are judging their own letters and numbers. I ain't their letters and numbers. Huh. It's judging their own system faulty. That's what they do every day. Every time they throw a stone, they're throwing it at themselves. That apple is their creation. At least in the form of this commercial Babylon and its manifestation. They're throwing the stone at themselves. Goes around, comes around. Point one finger at someone else. Three. Point it back at you. Thirty-three. Oh, let's talk business here. The business of my father, not of your professional deuce. Take a brief look here. Job chapter 38 real quick. And then we're going to get on back down to some of the charts and the stuff that uh we really 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 need to get back into here for it there's just so much stuff from the first couple of videos that i haven't been able to cover that it's like showing you how jesus is on that cross and when you do it opens that box think about jack in the box think about what's coming out of a jack box it's a jester it's a joker you know what i mean listen to the song oh what is it um Don McLean, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. All right, you get the obvious connection with the jester tried to steal his thorny crown. Okay, but there's something else in there that the jester should take a close look at with something landing foul. That's right. There's a part about the sun thing don't sound too good to me that connects back with an ancient legend of Sirius, which is a water symbolic situation colored red which should connect back as we know with inky lord of the flowing waters and then his red color as it connects back to the original color that we see symbolically of the devil i'm going to get into that as we move further but i want you to look here at job chapter 38 lines one through seven is pre-rebellion and as i said it's not our civilization here that is so beautiful and uh, exquisitely running at this point. This is what they would look back and think to Atlantis, and then there was some sort of, um, you know, coveting of high technology and lust, and then it destroyed their whole civilization, and then here's where we start all over wrong again. Man, they've got that one wrong. They're looking back to the high civilization of the sons of God who were here setting up the garden location to begin the education 
of these mortals of time and space. Okay, but of course, before that came to full fruition, a great faction of them rebelled and then took it unto themselves to be worshipped as gods. And then this is where this bloodline family and the obsessed with the genetic systems come through right now. Same thing. So what you want to see here is that all the morning stars and the sons of God were shouting together for joy, Job chapter 38. All right. Now, the sons of God, we know that those are not mankind, but yet they were in physical form. They were rematerialized here on this world from the spiritual domain. Just as you know Melchizedek was, without mother, without father, without beginning or ending of days. Right? Melchizedek, type of a son of God. Okay? So, sons of God, the original sons of God were not material beings. Okay? At least in this world. But as I've said to you before... They were materially in their first inception, just like us. And then they made it through the struggle and then grasped by faith the kingdom. And then, of course, were escorted in. And as they got there, of course, there's universal service to fulfill. So some were selected to go back down to another evolving world, be the emissaries of truth, reveal the impending arrival of the Son of God, the creator son of the universe to this world of time and space. But, of course, we know. They faulted and then took that unto themselves and then began to exalt the planetary prince of this world as that soon to arrive supposed creator son in the flesh in which he never did. And Jesus Christ arised and he was not nothing like what they were hoping for this militant king of which all Babylonian kings have been by force. Jesus was by faith. He did the will of the father, not the will of those men. You know what I mean? If he was doing the will of those men, I don't think too many people would have survived during that day. They would have been smiting, killing, hurting, thieving, robbing, and imprisoning everybody. But instead, they tried to do that to him. Wow, just like they try to do to us. Irony. So, look what happens in verse 8. Whose number is a Enki? What is Enki? He is Lord of the Flowing Waters. In association with what? The sea. C is even in reference to people, but it's also in reference in his influence to chaotic, unruly people that he's influenced. Okay? So it says, after line seven, we see line eight connected to Inky, as I told you, eight out of the mouth of the eater. Who's this eater? It says, talking that he was sealed in line eight, or who shut up the C? Who is this C? Well, I told you it's connected to Sirius, which is connected to Sacred Feminine, which is the connected bringing him into the physical form. But I'm telling you, it is in full connection to him, Inky, Lord of the Flowing Waters, which you see depicted as some sort of snaking-like serpent, like a Loch Ness Monster, Leviathan-type creature in connection to the sea. So who shut up the sea with doors? That's the seal that they're trying to break. Then it says, when the seal break forth, it's going to break forth as it issued out of a womb. What have we been talking about? Huh? What have we been talking about? The woman in travail, huh? Goes into that black box. Now, it's not literally going into a pregnant woman, but this is the symbolization of the occult scientists of their whole organization being symbolized as that woman doing the work to incubate, in essence, incubus, to incubate him into this material cloned body. That's what that all references right there. Now you know her feet are on the moon. So you'd have to see this as the entire occultic high science faction doing this great labor to put him into that material 4D box, that cell, that single cell, that prism, that prison of light for that high light being who wants to be a beast which we know man himself is just a beast. If you read the Bible and you understand it, read Ecclesiastes. Man himself is just a beast of the field, meaning where we have evolved from, struggled to overcome the animal-like nature. But we see that most people now indulge that nature. Some of them even indulge nature as their God, which nature in a lot of ways on this world is cruel and unforgiving. Maybe your God will be like that. That's not what you want. You want a supreme creator that is not moved by any whims, who is long standing and forever true in his mercy. Jesus Christ, come to him. Who shut up the sea? We know who's been shut up the sea at this time. He's connected to eight. Mouth of the eater shall come forth meat. Eight, eat. 
when it breaks forth, it's going to be likened to coming out of some sort of womb, which I'm telling you is in connection to what? The big apple, the apple of his eye, the fruit of the womb. Now, it says here, in But what the whole thing turns into the paradox is that when he comes back into the material, it's the same cell in prism of light and singular cell identity of material form. That's what makes him an abomination. Because he was already a high spirit being, he's devolved back into, or not even back into, he was never originally supposed to be. He's de-evolved into the beast form. He has, regulated, he has regulated his nature to something that is on the lowest spectrum of scale from his possible being. And then to make him appear as divine before us, he enters into it. That's the only way he can maintain some sort of Godhead because, of course, you don't have that in heaven any longer. So, you know, and said, Hitherto shalt thy come, but he's sealed away, but no further, and shall thy proud waves be stayed. All right? The reference with the proud waves and reference to those that were rippled out after him in connection to those that were sealed after him with the descendancy of the Nephilim, a.k.a. the Dans, in which we've talked about connected to the Pleiadians, which are connected to a civilization of beings under the earth, and which are connected to a civilization of peoples on the far side of the moon that are pretending to be these beings from underneath the earth. How's that sound for a paradox? Now, it keeps on going here, okay? But what I want to do is read you 39 now. And if you have got any question of what I'm going to tell you here, just keep listening. Knowest thou the time when the wild goats of the rock bring forth, or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? Canst thou number the months that they fulfill, or knowest thou the time when they bring forth, they bow themselves. They bring forth their young ones. They cast out their sorrows. Cremation of care. Their young ones are in good liking. They grow up with corn. They go forth and return not unto them. Who hath sent out the wild ass free? Or who hath loosed the bands of the wild ass? Whose house have I made the wilderness and the barren land his dwelling? He scorneth the multitude of the city, neither regardeth he the crying of the driver. The range of the mountains is his pasture, and he searcheth after every green thing. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee, or abide by thy crib? Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow, or will he harrow the valleys after thee? Wilt thou trust him because his strength is great, or wilt thou leave thy labor to him? Wilt thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather it into the barn? What's the barn? Read parables of the wheat and the tare. That's those who are not supposed to be burned by the fire. Right? Remember, false fallen Israel is the unicorn. Wilt thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather it into the barn? Oh my gosh. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich? which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in dust and forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Listen to this about this ostrich. 
Who's the ostrich? Matt Nicholson, number boy. Matt, let's take it to the Egyptian term for Mat, M-A-A-T. She is an Egyptian goddess. Her symbol is the ostrich feather. You know what her uh, basic job description is? To weigh truth. The ostrich feather is the symbol for Mat, truth. Let's see what the Lord thinks about this. Which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in dust and forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. That's your truth? Is that your truth, Matt? Because God hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. What time she lifteth up herself on high, she scorneth the horse and his rider. I wonder who that horse is. It's got this amazing rider. Hast thou given the horse strength? Hast thou clothed his neck with thunder? Canst thou make him afraid as a grasshopper? The glory of his nostrils is terrible. He paweth in the valley and rejoiceth in his strength. He goeth on to meet the armed men. He mocketh at fear and is not affrighted, neither turneth he back from the sword. The quiver rattleth against him, the glittering spear and the shield. He swalloweth the ground with the fierceness and rage, neither believeth he that it is the sound of the trumpet. He saith among the trumpets, Ha ha, and he smelleth the battle afar off, the thunder of the captains, and the shouting. Doth the hawk fly by thy wisdom and stretch her wings toward the south, living it up while I'm going down? Doth the eagle mount up at thy command and make her nest on high? She dwelleth and abideth on the rock, upon the crag of the rock, and the strong place, Zion, refuge, strong place, moon, Shinar. From thence she seeketh the prey, and her eyes behold afar off, maybe to the earth. Her young ones also suck up blood, and where the slain are, there is she. I'll be back.